Ah, Deutsche Antarktische Expedition. This is 1938-1939. This is the German Antarctic Expedition. Just before the Second World started. This is the official stuff they had in the politics and the military of those days. And this is the Schwabenland. I'm going to show you the ship. The Schwabenland with Lufthansa. This is a... Uh, from Lufthansa in the archives, Lufthansa being the air company, and the Schwabenland, and this is the Schwabenland during the war in Antarctic waters. Why? The Germans having all the war effort in Europe and Russia and all that stuff. Why would they have uh, this Antarctic expedition continuing since 1938 all the way uh, during the years of the war? So, um, of course, I could. I have information about the man, the man with the mustache who speaks German, and all this stuff that happened in Antarctica with the Germans. More than you usually see on YouTube. It's just I need time. You know, it takes a lot of time, and sometimes it's a bit boring to stay there and make all the lines and prepare the video. So if I have the time and the willpower to do it, I'm gonna do it. Hmm. But for now, I'm focused on more like photos and memes and having a bit more fun because life is short. But if I have time, maybe when I'm going to be older, if I'm still alive, I'm going to do more of these complex things with data and words and history. You know, like the, uh, on the internet and on, on TV and media and stuff, they call you conspiracy theorists when you speak about the Germans in Antarctica. But of course, because that's the only way you can do to make fun and make fun of you, you know, if you dare to actually speak about this. So... I'm wondering if the elite of Germany, they just went there and they didn't care anymore about um, about Germany and about what happens in the in these known continents. And then when when the Americans went with Operation High Jump and um, they got defeated, because that's what happened. You know, that's history. Uh, they probably said, "Okay, we can't mess with these guys because their technology is too much." And who knows? No, that that was like in the 1950s. It's been 70 years since then. So, I wonder if I would go there, if by any chances, I speak German, I'm not fluent, 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 super fluent, but I speak German. Um, if I go there and I present myself and I say, hey, it's me, can I join you guys? In German, of course. Maybe if I speak with them in German, maybe they're going to be awesome and cool and say, hey, so do you know the, the salute, how to say hello in the original German, say hello? Yes, and then maybe I, I'm going to meet some of the cool guys there. That would be so awesome. But this is also awesome, you know, Deutsche Antarktische Expedition. I'm wondering why the Reich was so uh, epically interested in Antarctica. Uh, not, the, not the Antarctica you see on the map of the world, no. The one that you see in Vibes of Cosmos. Unfortunately, not many of you know about Vibes of Cosmos. But anyway, at least I'm trying my best. Hey. So again, if I have time, I'm going to do more complex stuff in the future. But for now, I'm going to focus on the photos and pictures and memes because they're so cool. And they make, you know, they make you happy by making fun of certain things. Take care. Hochliebe Deutsch.